At Forge Media and Design, we believe that learning should be more than just memorizing facts and dates. To truly understand, you need to make a personal connection with the stories and the people behind the headlines. That was our goal when we designed the digital experience for the Holodomor Mobile Classroom, a literal vehicle in which to teach high school students around North America about the Ukrainian genocide. The Holodomor is the genocidal famine that occurred in Ukraine in 1932 and 1933, when uh, over four million Ukrainians were starved to death in a man-made famine. And so the word itself is death inflicted by starvation. When the bus pulls up, students aren't sure what to expect. But as soon as they climb on board, they quickly realize that this isn't some normal classroom. This is something completely new. It was a total pleasure working with the Canada-Ukraine Foundation and the author of the lesson, Valentina Kuril. They brought a wealth of knowledge and a lot of passion to the project. They provided us with a great structure to work from, which allowed us to explore the possibilities of creating an entirely new way of teaching. Well, I think it worked out very well with Forge. And uh, I've had feedback from teachers that are rarely impressed by things and said, wow, this was a great experience for kids. The 24-foot screen was fully utilized to envelop the students in the lesson, immersing them in an intense display of audio and visuals. At the outset of the presentation, there's a heaviness to the atmosphere that gradually transforms as the lesson unfolds, becoming brighter and more hopeful as students are taught how they can make a difference in the fight for human rights. We wanted the students to really get involved, to think creatively and solve problems on their own. We designed a custom iPad app where they could play the role of a historian, hunting for clues hidden in old photos and documents. The answers that the groups come up with are inputted into the app and then they appear on the large screen so they can share their perspectives and hopefully spark discussion. On the surface, the mobile classroom seems quite seamless, but behind the scenes, it's anything but simple. Three custom-built apps, an array of programming languages, 32 iPads, a macro server, and the 24-foot screen constantly communicate with each other in real time via a wireless network and it's all controlled by the facilitator through an app that orchestrates the entire lesson. The Canada-Ukraine Foundation brought us a big challenge. Nothing like this had ever been done before, but that's what we specialize in. We want to push the boundaries and find new and better ways to do things. We want students to understand the Holodomor, but we also want them to feel empowered to stand up to injustice wherever they see it. The digital experience we design shows them that history is about real events and real people, and that standing up for what's right is history in the making.